many thank uh, many thanks to everyone and uh, to Carlo of course uh, to managing the uh, publishing of the journal and all the editors uh, our contribution is uh, among the regular papers and the uh, title is Designing for Decision Making, the Assessment of Road Safety Compliance through Conversational Storytelling. I'm first author together with Ma Professor Marinella Pacello, Dr. Giorgia Saleri and Dr. Uh, Giuseppe Corbelli. Uh, our um, work, our research work, uh, is actually uh, re actually represented the beginning of a research field, which was based on uh, uh, the use of uh, interactive uh, conversational storytelling uh, for both uh, data collection and uh, psychosocial research and uh, uh, pedagogical intervention or educational intervention. Um, why uh, all those uh, key aspects in our research? The decision-making, which is uh, at the core of our research, uh, but also the, the, the interaction design, uh, the design of a mobile computing application, uh, and also within the domain of road safety. Okay, we were actually very interested in road safety since uh, the current urban mobility scenario is radically uh, and quickly evolving. And we know that uh, uh, basically there are many, many digital tools or digitalized uh, mobility services. Um, and also some uh, road safety scenarios uh, are, are emerging, you know? uh, like uh, micro mobility in both uh, uh, metropolitan uh, city areas, uh, as well as uh, medium cities, European cities. And those are proposing many uh, safety issues or uh, safety critical issues in our cities. Uh, in this scenario, actually, uh, there are not specific means or technologies that are able to provide a satisfactory explanation to human behavior, to human choices or decisions. Uh, that's why uh, we try to better understand the, the current methods to focus on uh, the quantitative uh, analysis of human behavior in mobility, meaning that there are many uh, app and tools that allow to uh, mm, capture data about uh, our decisions in uh, driving into an urban area rather than choosing several services. But we were interested in, in the human factors, in the uh, psychological processes behind the behavior. Um, uh, and in particular, this work, this research is about understanding processes, experiences, uh, but also uh, the proper impact of, uh, of a conversational storytelling uh, mobile app. Um, why? Basically, since we started uh, uh, trying to understand uh, uh, the ways mobile computing uh, was possible to be used uh, in both qualitative and quantitative uh, uh, research, and in particular, we were interested in uh, trying to exploring uh, the uh, specific field which within decision making which is uh, moral engagement or the use of moral dilemmas so we try to uh, ask ourselves uh, what can happen if we are able to present people and young people young adults in particular uh, real life scenarios and moral dilemmas uh, in urban mobility so which kind of choices which kind of decisional situation we can build in our design uh, then we were interested in understanding if uh, some uh, uh, realistic scenarios so, so the, the mobile app and the and our our tool proposed uh, realistic scenarios to investigate uh, rule breaking or rule compliance behavior so so how and when 
our behavior is uh, breaking the rule, the established the rules, so formal or informal rules, and how and when our behavior is compliant. Uh, and also, uh, under a methodological perspective, we were interested in studying how and if uh, such an interactive conversational storytelling could be an effective uh, uh, research method in psycho psychosocial research uh, and also an effective tool for carrying out a psychometric research. Uh, since, um, uh, as you might capture by this short presentation, our approach was a, was and is a multidisciplinary one, uh, meaning that we bring together interaction design and psychometric uh, uh, and psychographic uh, approach. Uh, since uh, we are actually designing a tool proposing conversation and stories, uh, storytelling, uh, in order to do what? To collect data about uh, decision-making, meaning psychometric, how through psychographics. Uh, psychographics is the field that allows us to uh, visually illustrate, so to say, the scenarios and to convey uh, realistic scenarios to people and to young adults. So going to the, to the finding of this complex or multi-faceted research, the findings allows us to um, um, comfort our uh, initial idea of establishing a field of research, uh, dealing with uh, the uh, proven effectiveness of this interaction, interactional tool in capturing the complexity of this uh, combination of contextual, personal, and behavioral factors uh, related to compliance and road safety behavior. Uh, especially, uh, this research offered us the possibility of studying the underlying processes and the motivation behind uh, each decision uh, around uh, road safety um, and to uh, leverage upon specific uh, conversation scenarios uh, carried out by an agent, uh, which was not intelligent, but actually rule-based, was, was a rule-based logics uh, that uh, allow us to, to control the collected data and to provide the explanation around uh, uh, the um, decision-making process in such uh, realistic and meaningful uh, situations that we proposed. Okay, Alessandro. <laughs> yes. So now we have time for questions. Yes, just uh, which uh, which were your principal outcomes? Yes, uh, the principal outcomes are uh, really on those two main aspects. So first one is uh, more related. Uh, uh, first outcome is more related to. Uh, understanding uh, actually if uh, this work with uh, uh, moral engagement and moral dilemma could be useful to explore uh, the proper motivation of people no, in rule breaking and rule compliance situation. And this was very uh, interesting as a, as a part of our outcome since uh, uh, we try to understand uh, which kind of uh, connections uh, are in place between uh, rule breaking behavior and disengagement and which aspects really leverage upon disengagement like uh, uh, we are morally disengaged uh, upon uh, uh, time pressure or social pressure for example and this happens also in urban uh, uh, mobility but also uh, around the contextual variables so since uh, of course uh, this research was this paper was based on a, a european uh, research project uh, which carried out data from uh, Milan and Rome in Italy, but also from Paris and Utrecht. And uh, uh, of course, there are also 
cultural va variables, no? So what is socially accepted in urban mobility in, in Rome is not in Utrecht. Uh, what is a common scenario in one place or a medium city is not in a, a metropolitan area. Um, uh, all those factors uh, were part of our uh, first model in this in this paper and the second outcome was more about uh, methodology was more about the possible uh, uh, exploitation of uh, conversational storytelling to carry out the psychosocial research so meaning uh, instead of having uh, our uh, validated te te test uh, into into the proper questionnaire uh, shape uh, to have uh, the same items of course of validated instruments but uh, within a storytelling approach so within a more engaging and uh, motivating for for young adults uh, situation or interaction uh, so those two as as a flash but then uh, we can enter into details of course okay thank you any more questions? Well, I have one, Alessandro. Yes. Um, you in your paper you focus on the um, uh, social dilemmas uh, through conversational storytelling. I was wondering whether you will consider as well using conversational um, storytelling for wayfinding because in road safety one of the the major uh, considerations that we have to to be careful is with the signs we put it and uh, if we trust mm -hmm. in the signs <laughs> and the, the norms that are conceived so what um, what uh, do you consider or is it a next step uh, not actually. Uh, we we uh, we didn't consider that aspect. Uh, it's uh, it's certainly interesting, actually, uh, and also uh, undergoing the same uh, cultural variables or contextual variables I was mentioning before. Uh, but the wayfinding, of course, is uh, very relevant aspects. Uh, I would say. Um, orthogonal to the, to the rest of of the research. Yes, no. Actually, what we what we have done uh, from this research on was uh, about the application of these methods and these. Uh, uh, tool for other security critical scenarios such as the cybersecurity uh, domain uh, where we applied uh, the, a similar approach to investigate not only or not uh, uh, not only road safety scenarios but cybersecurity uh, uh, critical scenarios and uh, this is actually research uh, carried out last year and uh, under under publication yes okay, but uh, okay. thank you thank you thank you